Dear learner, in this lecture we are going to learn about property modifier. It's an important term uh, in uh, ETAPS and also as per code, we used to apply property modifier or stiffness property modifier. I will request you to read details about that. I will attach that uh, Excel file on our uh, resource link. You may able to download uh, sorry uh, that PDF file. You may able to download that and also I will I request you to uh, study that uh, parameters or study about the parameters from your code okay before apply so uh, as per ACI code uh, we will apply uh, property modifier as uh, follow so here for beam we will use property modifier of 0 0.3 times of IG so what is the meaning of that actually this means uh, as we have ig of uh, ig means moment of initia gross moment of initia of a beam and then if we provide property modifier for 0 0.35 times that means its moment of initia will be less than for 0 0.35 times for analysis as per software but actually it will be same as we have provided also for column it will be 0 0.7 times of IG and uh, for a uh, wall cracked 0 0.7 IG and wall cracked uh, all uncracked and all cracked 0 0.35 IG and uh, for slab no need to apply I mean for on wire to a slab no need to apply any property modifier except our uh, flat plates or flat slab if you provide flat plate and flat slab you have to provide 0 0.25 times of IG so uh, let's start and uh, again i am telling you please before applying this value must know about that value how it's work what is the effect of that uh, product on our structure or that value on our structure so let's start first of all i'll go to our software uncheck our software as uh, we have previously analyzed our model then i'll go i'll, I'll go to select First of all, I will apply property modifier on our column. I'll go select. Actually, when we have defense section properties, modify section properties, then they have option property modifier. But we didn't apply any modifier here. We didn't apply any modifier here. Why? Because if we provide any modifier here, and if we need to change for certain member then it will make mistake because if you provide property modifier here and then also again if you uh, exchange or uh, assign by using that option assign option again for property modifier then it will overwrite and it will multiply with previous value okay but now we have taken here one we have taken here one and uh, when we'll uh, apply property modifier or when we'll assign property modifier now then that value will be replaced with that value we'll replace with one every time we'll re with uh, i mean will be replaced with one okay that's why we didn't provide any value here close now i'll go to select then select properties or uh, select object type then go for column select so all column we have selected now I'll go here assign then we'll go to frame then section properties or property modifier then we'll go to property modifier and here for uh, moment of initial about axis on on and about axis two to we'll provide that value as per zero point Seven. Zero point seven. Zero point seven. Then apply. The wall open modifier have been applied. It. I can come here, and I'll select all beam. So all beam of our structure have been selected. Now I'll provide here three five. Three five. So what is the reason actually providing uh, 2.5 times of uh, moment of uh, moment of initia for column 
and uh, uh, half times for uh, beam actually we know this is a uh, best concept to design a structure for a strong column weak beam so when we will uh, reduce property modifier on beam then who will protect your structure or when uh, your beam is weak then when a structure will be analyzed then how it will be actually how your structure will be stable obviously the other element other strong element will take necessary moment will take necessary share and they have to be very strong to uh, ensure your structure stability so this is uh, also a uh, concept but i'll request you please read very large or read very uh, i mean you have to read uh, more things about that topic from your code or uh, any other source so i'll click apply done then we'll go for share all so for uh from here i'll not select share all because uh, uh if we select all then also the slab we uh, also uh, the staircase we have created its color is also red and it will select as a wall and uh, it will uh, actually it's not okay i'll go back then i will click okay go select from here property type then wall selection and lift core all select the all of lift core element to have selected now we'll go assign then uh, shell for all actually okay shell then slab section all section or you, you may go here directly for is uh, property modifier and if you come here for uh, uncracked we'll consider our structure all is uncracked so we'll provide value ff f on on f22 for 0 0.7 for a membrane for bending uh, m1 on 2 to okay so if we if we come here as we didn't provide any membrane for our structure so no need to over that value clear and uh, they have some uh, value wall are generally not designed for out of plane bending about to excessive uh, longitudinal reinforcement in this case use a small modifier say 0 0.1 for m1 m22 and m12 uh, so numerical instability could be avoided however use uh, m on on m22 0 0.7 or 0 0.35 point considering the out of plane bending wall so uh, as per your requirement you are able to select any suitable property modifier as per your requirement so i'll go here and for bending moment on on two two and three three as per that value okay as per that value we may able to use 0 0.7 0 0.7 okay plus so done we have completed our uh property modifier restiveness uh, modifier thank you thank you very much for staying with us